Welcome to Servant of the Fates. Today's speaker card reading is all about the thing or the person, the situation that will make you very, very happy soon. Pick the card that sparks a memory in you. It has your answer. Guidelines below on how to do just that. Feel free to pause this video as you take your pick. As always, timestamps down below. And let's begin. If you chose the first card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So what will make you happy soon? We have humor. Generosity. Adaptability. Potential and new beginnings and then from tarot you have the page of swords the five of wands the two of cups the hanged man the page of pentacles the eight of pentacles and the star and then we're going to take a look at your letter later so in the middle of your spread, we have the hanged man. This is all about the sacrifices that you made in the past. This is about you being very adaptable and flexible towards the people in your life, your reality, the situations in your life. This is also the card of Neptune, ruler of Pisces. And as you know, Pisces is a mutable sign. So Pisces is that kind of person, that kind of soul who really would sacrifice their own comfort or happiness for other people. So there's something like that, that kind of act that you recently performed, gave up something for somebody else's happiness. I just heard something specific to preserve the peace, right? To preserve the harmony in your social circle, be that at work or when it comes to your friendships or at home in the family, right? You recently made a sacrifice. You took the higher road and you really embodied kindness and generosity as well. And now the thing that's going to make you very happy soon is your good karma from that okay something good is going to enter your life and it's going to be a reward for your patience for your kindness for your generosity towards people okay so this is where you were making sure that everyone is looking eye to eye there's respect there's kindness towards each other for this you had to be brave like this winged lion you had to be brave and, like we said, sacrifice something, right, for that conflict. And this is your reward, the star, a wish come true, okay? And what kind of wish exactly? Because for sure, you have a lot of wishes, right, in different aspects of your life. First of all, it is the one that you love most deeply, that you crave most profoundly because the star is a major arcana card, right? So quite literally, something really, really major, the most major desire, wish, fantasy, prayer that you have. But also, the star is all about healing. So what is it that's hurting you right now? And I'm hearing that for a lot of you, it has something to do with your finances, with your stability, with your career path, or if you're still in school, then your studies, something that will eventually bring you financial, material, tangible stability. So it's that wish that will be granted out of gratitude for you, right? For the sacrifice that you made. So that's why we have the Eight of Pentacles. Number eight, that is abundance. And the suit of Pentacles is all about money, the material world. It's about jobs. It's about career. And the thing that makes the Eight of Pentacles so special is that 
it doesn't just promise a new job offer, right? We have new beginnings here. So definitely a new job offer. Or if you already have a job, then this is something else entirely, a different contract. This could be a promotion, right? This could be an increase, a bonus, but something that is better than just a one-off bonus or just a one-off gift, right? This is something stable. The suit of pentacles is the suit of stability. So new beginnings when it comes to your wish, the star, concerning stability. And again, like I said, what makes this card so special is that it's not just a new beginning. It's not just a new offer about any random job. It's about something, darling, that you are deeply passionate about. Okay, so if right now you are an accountant or a nurse or something else that is related to your field of study but is not really something that you love, then expect this new beginning to come in. Something that you only fantasized about, right? Something that you would laugh about when you think about this dream, like for example, you are an accountant who wants to become a dancer or a comedian, right? Something like that. You would just laugh about it because you know it will remain a fantasy in your life. You know that it will stay a dream because it's not realistic and it's never gonna happen. You know, it's that kind of dream. It's really more a fantasy. And reversed, actually, the star is the card of wishful thinking. So it is kind of wishful thinking on your part, but that is your reward. And that's what will make you very happy soon is that it's actually happening. Something that you are truly passionate about will actually enter your life, right? And you've always known that you have potential for this, like... Like we said, right? Comedy or singing or dancing or becoming an artist, right? You have the talent. You've had it, the skill since you were a child. It was a gift that was given to you by the divine. But looking at life, right? It's just, it would be crazy. It's like you and reality killing the potential of this dream. It's like you telling yourself, that's crazy. The page of source is the most blunt and cutting and straightforward of all the pages. So it's like you telling yourself, shut up, <laughs> stop dreaming about this or keep dreaming, but make sure it just stays in your dreams because it's not realistic. Keep doing what you do, this job, this degree program at school, because that is what can eventually bring you material stability, not this passion. Okay, so it's that kind of energy. And you are in conflict <laughs> because you know that you really have the gift for it, right? But you know that it's not realistic and you are just laughing about it and you are trying again once more to adapt to reality, right? Thinking that, oh, that's crazy with the hangman here, thinking that it's something that will never move forward. It will always stay stagnant, just a potential, right? But that is what's happening right now, darling. From the Page of Swords, you are transforming to the Page of Pentacles. From a negative one to a positive one. This is like, no, shut up, be realistic. That's never going to happen. And this is like, here is your potential. Here is your new beginning. I'm offering it to you take it right so this is what's going to make you very very happy soon darling it's really all about this crazy this insane dream that you have it's a profession or it's a field of study it's something that you've always been talented at but either it's your parents or yourself or reality that keeps telling you not to pursue it and just stay wherever you are right now because that is what will bring you material stability well it's almost like a miracle because very very soon the potential for this dream to be fulfilled is going to knock on your door right the star and your clue as to the instrument that the universe will use to bring you this gift this new beginning the star is the card of aquarius right so this is 
talking about an Aquarius sun rising Venus who could be in your life right now. They are going to help you achieve this potential and open this new beginning. Let's have a look at your Letterman cards for more messages. We have garden. So this person is a friend, someone in your social circle right now. We also have birds. <laughs> Maybe you dated this person or you are dating this person, but nothing official. Maybe uh, friends with benefits, right? That kind of energy. Or you've always had a crush on them and them on you, but it never really moved forward from that. We do have the hangman here for stagnation. We also have ship. So another clue is that this could involve moving to a different country or a different city. Once you hear about this new beginning, entering your life, this new potential, it could require a move right? Literally moving to a different place to make it happen, okay? We have men. So we could be talking about masculine energies. This Aquarius person is represented by the star, whether they're literally male or female. They have this alpha energy about them with men here, right? Someone extroverted or if not super extroverted, Someone who is quietly confident anyway, right? We also have scythe. So darling, this is going to come in suddenly, okay? It's not going to be like a trickle. It's not like Monday, you feel something. Tuesday, you hear something. Wednesday, you receive a vague, ambiguous text. And then Thursday, finally, you get the email. No, <laughs> There's not going to be clues like that. It will come in suddenly. Like, hello, here I am. This is what's going to happen. <laughs> suddenly, this opportunity, this potential, this new beginning of dream come true is just going to surprise you. And then finally, we have clouds. We have bear and coffin. Amazing, amazing. Bear, this is the card of Capricorn. This is the card of a job that you do, a task that you do, studies that you're trying to finish just because you think it will bring you stability, right? There's going to be an end to that. That will die because like we said, there's going to be a new beginning when it comes to something you are truly passionate about, something that you have been praying for, right? And with clouds here, this is amazing. This has always been a source of sadness, of depression for you, knowing that you cannot do it. I mean, here you are, you laugh about it every now and then, but deep down you are hurt. It's like you're just trying to push away the pain, but you are hurt. Why can't you pursue this passion? Well, this is the answer, right? Right now you can. <laughs> it will come to you, knock on your door, arrive at your doorstep, very very soon and it's all a reward for the sacrifice that you made right for the betterment of other people other situations this is your good karma this is your reward so to summarize what will make you happy very soon it is the ability the potential the chance to finally live your purpose to finally do what you are very passionate about in this life. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the second card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So, what will make you happy very soon? We have wisdom, the sun, co-creation, forgiveness, and the in-between. From tarot, we have the hermit, could involve a Virgo. We have the four of pentacles, another four, the four of swords, the king of swords, 
The Six of Swords, lots of Swords energy, something that you've been really thinking about. We have the Seven of Wands and another Seven, the Seven of Cups. We're going to take a look at your Letterman cards later. In the middle of your spread, we have the King of Swords and we have Co-Creation. This is the card of partnerships, soulmates, or someone that you work closely with okay this is general reading so it's going to resonate differently but someone that you have created a huge part of your life with that could be like we said your romantic life right your family life or it could be your work life when it comes to your career but either way we are talking about the king of swords this is someone who is very intelligent someone who is very mind over matter to the point that they can be quite harsh and brutally frank sometimes in the way that they talk to you in the way that they deal with other people as well but either way this is someone who is quite obviously a king so someone who is well established someone who has a lot of strong healthy self-esteem and someone who is stable in more ways than one, okay? This is the minor arcana card of Aquarius, so that could be your clue as to who this person is. But we have another here, the Hermit, which is the card of Virgo, okay? So just another clue is that this person is older than you, okay? Not just in mind and at heart, but in age as well, because you have two, right? The king is the oldest, of all the court cards and then the hermit is of course an old person so this is someone who is a lot older than you like seven years onwards i just heard five for some of you but seven years or more right someone who is definitely more mature than you as well like mentally and emotionally and spiritually as well because the hermit is one of the most spiritual cards in tarot right up there with the high priestess and the hierophant right so this is the person that we are talking about what will make you very happy soon something to do with them right something that you have always been waiting for because the thing is there something negative that happened between you and this person right there was this walking away with the six of swords there were a lot of arguments i'm hearing there was misalignment misunderstandings between the two of you and that is why we have this card it's like you don't really know where you stand with this person and that came this conflict came after you already created something beautiful together right after you already realized how much you admire them this is like we said with a hermit someone old and wise an old soul and someone who is just very clear like the king of swords in their thinking in the way that they decide in the way that they communicate and at some point in your life this person was quite literally like the sun someone who lights up your world right someone that you admired looked up to and someone that made you really really happy okay but right now this is where we are there is negativity a lot of nothing <laughs> a lot of nothing happening between the two of you with the hermit here there is aloneness right when it comes to this connection which like we said, could be romantic or not because it's general reading. So you know exactly which person I'm talking about. It will resonate differently for each of you. But right now, there is a whole lot of nothing happening. We have the Four of Swords, which is the card of rest. So you are in between. <laughs> there is a break happening between you and this person right now, okay? And here's the thing. With the Four of Pentacles... You are both trying to hold on to your pride, to your ego. No one wants to come forward and ask for forgiveness, right? No one wants to say sorry first. No one wants to admit 
that it's their fault what happened, okay? But the question is, what will make you very happy very soon? And the answer is that this person finally, <laughs> after a long period of non-action, they are going to come forward and apologize to you, okay? Despite how big <laughs> their ego is, despite how much they think they're the one who's in the right when it comes to this situation, this conflict that happened between the two of you, they are going to take action and move forward. Why? Because we have a lot of number sevens. We have forgiveness. We have this, which is trying very hard despite their ego, despite how they feel, what they think. And we have the seven of cups as well. Seven in tarot, in divination, this is the number of action. So someone finally coming forward, right? You don't have to wait anymore. You don't have to think that the ball is in your court anymore. This person, this king of swords hermit energy that we're talking about, this Virgo sun rising Venus, <laughs> this Aquarian energy, right? Earth and air, they are going to come forward. They are going to grant their forgiveness and they're going to ask you for yours. There's going to be a lot of humility happening in this relationship, okay? Coming from their side. And as the final card here, the Seven of Cups. It's just going to feel like a dream to you, darling. You are going to want to pinch yourself because, like I said, we are talking about a king, man or woman, kingly energy, pride, ego, and then someone who really thinks of themselves as someone who has already achieved a lot with nothing to prove, right? But the other side of wisdom, <laughs> of superiority, spirituality, is humility, right? And that is a part of them that they're really going to tap into and reveal to you. So what will make you very happy soon? This fantasy, this dream that you've always had about this person coming back to you, crawling back to you. You thought it was impossible, right? But this person, along with everything that they bring, whether it's a job offer, whether it's an offer of moving in together, right? Again, financial or romantic or something in between. Something that you thought was crazy, something that you thought was just an illusion, a fantasy. Well, it's finally coming and it will make you very happy. Let's see what else your cards have to say. We have mice. So this has been eating away at your peace of mind, right? This conflict, this drifting away, all of these arguments with this person. We have lilies. We really are talking about someone older than you, but a very specific message is an authority figure in your life. So a father, an uncle, a grandfather, it doesn't have to be related to you, a boss, right? So this is this kind of relationship that we're talking about. Or if it is romantic, then someone who's always had pure intentions towards you, right? The most knightly, the most really just very kind, the kindest, the most loving person that you've ever met romantically or otherwise, right? So this is the card of purity, someone who's always been pure and generous and kind and polite towards you. This is who we're talking about. And with bouquet, Yes, this is the card of beauty, a beautiful gift. This is the card of presence. So really, this is someone who always felt like they're a gift in your life and they will become that once again, right? After they move forward and ask for your forgiveness. The sun twice. Because we have it twice, I am hearing Leo, okay? So Leo could be another strong presence in their chart. And this is just all about clarity, like the king of swords, someone who has mental strength, right? Mental stamina, someone who is always emotionally, mentally, spiritually clear about what they want to do in their life, okay? So this is the person that we're talking about, the person who will come forward and forgive you and also ask for your forgiveness and just give this relationship, this reality, a second chance with you. We also have the tower. <laughs> So again, an authority figure in your life and someone that you haven't had any access to, the tower, right? Someone who's above you, someone that you cannot reach, cold, detached, 
distant, just like the king of swords, okay? So that is who we're talking about. And something very specific, someone who probably works for the government, right? Some public agency like that or something to do with finances, but for the government, okay? And then lastly, we have stork, tree, and whips. So yeah, this person, there was something that was very negative in the way that they said goodbye to you. With whips, this is criticism. This is argument. This is words being used as a weapon. So that is why you guys drifted apart. Words were spoken, right? Some things were said, and you feel like there is no going back from that because it was too harsh, it was too malicious, it was too painful, right? So I also heard business partnership just now. So that's a specific message for one or two or a couple of you, right? So that is how things happen. But right now, there's going to be a new growth in this relationship. This stork, this is an upgrade, right? Someone who flies over conflict someone who flies over pain. So there's going to be just a new beginning, an upgrade, an elevation in your relationship. And tree is, of course, the card of growth, right? And of stability as well, something rooted down below. So this is going to become stronger and better. Here you are right now thinking that this relationship is completely over. It is just an illusion to think there's ever going to be a second chance in this relationship. But that is the thing that will make you very happy soon is that it will actually happen. <laughs> this new beginning will enter your life, okay, with this person. And it's going to be even stronger and better than before your connection, your relationship, your partnership. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the third card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So, what will make you very happy very soon? We have death and magic. The moon, very spiritual. The past. Transformation, scorpionic and radical acceptance very strong scorpio energy from tarot we have the ten of pentacles the knight of pentacles the empress lots of yellow joy we have the two of wands wheel of fortune lovely the three of swords something that used to be painful and strength we're going to take a look at your letterman cards later so darling, a very, like I said, very, very strong Scorpio energy. This could be your own energy coming through or the energy of the person that is really manifesting, showing up in your reading, okay? Death and magic, Scorpio energy, eighth house energy. This is someone who's very much into the occult, right? Or if not literally into the occult, someone who attracts it anyway right so someone with an open third eye someone who can see feel ghosts and other presence right with the moon someone spiritual someone who is again open to other worldly influence and connections and then with radical acceptance this is like the equivalent of judgment which is in tarot the card of pluto ruler of scorpio okay so very very strong scorpio energy and with the past here in the middle of your spread we are talking about someone that you already know okay so whatever this reading is it's not a new love it's not a new business partner it's not a new friend right it's not a new business opportunity it's something that you've already experienced in your past, all right? But it's going to come back for a second chance, and this time around, again, another Scorpio card, transformation, okay? Whatever this energy was in the past, it's going to transform, it's going to evolve, 
it's going to improve. Transformation, this is the equivalent of the death card in tarot, which is another Scorpio card. So very, very strong Scorpionic energy. Now, for a lot of you, we are not talking about romance. Of course, this is a general reading, so it's going to resonate differently. The details are going to resonate differently with each of you. But since we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, this is something that transcends romance, okay? This could have to do with a business partner. This could have to do with a job, a contract, or, or if it is romantic, then it's not just someone that you dated randomly. It's not anything shallow. It's someone that you had or you have a family with, okay? This is a very, very deep, stable kind of connection. But definitely, we are talking about a person because Scorpio is just a very, very strong presence in this reading that wants to be felt, that really wants to come through <laughs> and be spoken about. And then in the middle of your spread, we have the number two, which is a card of partnerships, right? And again, with the card of the past here, and this is someone who is like looking away, right? Looking at your past with them, someone who is trying to reminisce someone who is ridden by nostalgia right now thinking about what the two of you had okay and you did used to have the world together whether that means financial success or this feeling of true love you did have the best of what life has to offer you and this person but something happened right the three of sorts. This is the card of sorrow and heartbreak, betrayal, and pain. So if this is a romantic relationship, then someone cheated, right? You were left out in the cold. If not, if this is a business relationship, then someone also cheated, but financially, right? Someone betrayed you in a different way. Maybe someone stole from your venture, from your company, or I just heard something very specific. If we are talking about a boss who promised you a promotion or bonus, they gave it to someone else or they decided to just forget about it altogether, okay? Either way, three swords, right? There was something very, very painful that happened between you and this person, okay? And it took you a lot of strength, a lot of power, a lot of will, to walk away from this connection and to heal yourself and create something else with yourself or with another soul, with another person, right? Another relationship, a different kind of partnership. It took a lot for that to happen. And our question is what will make you very happy very soon? It's not... <laughs> It's not this person coming back into your life and you accepting them, okay? For a lot of you, 70% of you, they will come back. But for every single one of you, you will not take them back, okay? And what will make you very, very happy is the realization that after all this time, you apparently don't need them back in your life okay because here we are right with the three of swords you think that you need this person something very specific is that you even cast spells right performed rituals so that this person would return in your life okay there is right now as we speak a lot of pain and longing for this person longing with the two of wands right really looking back at your past together and wishing they were back right now this darling is what you want the most for this person to come back into your life but once they do and they will very soon this is what will happen you will realize that they are but a knight and you are an empress whether you are a man or a woman this is you 
feeling like you are everything. You are great. You are fantastic. You are brilliant. You are perfect. And they are just a fraction of that. Okay? They are just a knight and you are an empress or an emperor. Okay? They are something small and insignificant compared to you. This person really will knock on your door. But the moment that they do, everything will transform. Okay? You will suddenly accept, <laughs> realize, discover that this person never deserved you. That you are something worthy of so much more than what this person can offer. Okay? And I'm also hearing strong Venusian energy. The Knight of Pentacles, this is the card of Earth signs. And right now it's manifesting as Taurus, a sign ruled by Venus. The Empress is also the card of Venus, as you can see. This is her symbol right here, right? And also the Goddess of Love. So you have the heart there as well. So there is strong conflict here, okay? Between a Scorpio and a Taurus or a Scorpio and a Libra, right? Plutonian versus Venusian energy. So one of you is that person and the other could be the Scorpio. But either way, right now, here you are casting spells, right? During the full moon, during the new moon, during the blood moon, asking for this person back in your life, dreaming about them with the moon and the past side by side, dreaming about them, daydreaming about them, right? But the moment that they actually knock on your door with this small offer you're like nope i deserve better <laughs> so this is your gift darling this is what this is what will make you very happy very soon the realization that you already have everything that you want without this person that you are strong enough right that you are powerful enough that even if this person will be crawling back into your life you are just going to realize your true worth that you deserve better than this person, that all this time, all along, you have been complete and there was no need for this person. But what it really is, is the closure, right? The realization, because without this person coming back, you won't realize it's always going to be what if in your mind. It's what if, right? What if they came back? Would I be better off? Does it mean that I will feel better, that I will have more peace of mind, that I will feel loved and more abundant and everything else? Right now, it's just a what if. You don't know, right? But this person will, I promise you, return in your life, right? Show up at your door very soon. And that is when the gift from the universe will arrive. This sudden, radical realization that you have always been complete and better off without this person. Let's see what else your Letterman cards have to say. We have choices, do you see? Right? It's all about being offered that choice because right now you don't have it. Right? You don't know if you're actually over this person or not because you haven't been given the choice to say yes or no to them. Right? Because they're MIA, but they will appear very soon and you will be able to make that choice for yourself. We also have Fox. This is like an echo of the Ten of Pentacles and strength. Knowing that you are clever enough and intelligent enough and strong enough and brave enough to stand by yourself without any need for this person. We also have Mountain. So yeah, this is a big problem in your life right now. Emotionally, mentally, spiritually. This is something that you think is an obstacle you could never conquer but we know that that is not true it's just the opposite we also have stars so again this is all about someone that you dream about like the moon right someone that you think about someone that you daydream about and someone that you probably met through your friends right this is the card of networking the card of your social circle or could be something very specific is someone who works with computers okay so software engineer something like that okay something to do with tech <laughs> that's a very specific message for you 
and with the wheel of fortune here things are just really going to transform right like we said things are going to transform radically the wheel of fortune is going to turn and all of the longing that you have right for this person will just be gone forever okay the wheel of fortune here is beside the three of swords so imagine the will literally running over <laughs> this pain and going towards strength instead okay so whatever this daydreaming is about this person it's going to go away okay the wheel of fortune will take over and destroy this pain this sorrow this heartbreak that you are feeling right now allowing you to find your strength we also have dog okay so you are choosing yourself over this person you are staying loyal to your own self-worth to your own self-love and again that's just a confirmation that we're probably talking about someone that started off that you started off with as friends because stars this is the card of the 11th house in astrology right your network again your social circle the people around you and dog is the card of your bff so someone that you either met through your best friend or through your friends or someone who was himself or herself you considered your best friend right finally we have another moon, okay? Someone you probably work with. This is the card of career. We have lady, someone who is quite feminine, and we have child. So whether this is a man or a woman, a lot of feminine energy could be, I just heard, bisexuality, but not just that. This is someone who is quite receptive. We have the empress as well. So they could be very masculine and very alpha, right? But they are someone who is in touch with their emotions, especially with the moon here. So this is someone, oh my God, that's why you loved them. That's why you felt so hard for them, whether romantically or platonically. This is someone who's always been vulnerable, but strong at the same time. They are mentally, <laughs> mentally so strong and that, and then emotionally so vulnerable as well it's like they're the best of both worlds and that is what was very magnetic and attractive for you and again this person really will come in for a new beginning with child here but all of you you are going to reject this person and what will make you very happy is not a second chance with them not the fact that they're begging for you back but the realization that you are now stronger and better and braver and you have no need for this person anymore this person who hurt you this person who betrayed you because now you know your worth and now you know to look for someone or something that will not be toxic and hurtful towards you the good news is all about your strength it's all about self-love and it's all about growth i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon Take care.